Hey, welcome to another uh, monthly studio report for Broken Hammer Games, All Sphere and Dust and Air, and the other projects that we have happening right now. I am the founder, CEO, writer, a whole bunch of things for this company, and uh, just welcome you here. This is the November 2022 uh, studio report, so uh, if you are looking for another month, you'll have to check our backlog on that. Uh, for starters, um, last month we ended going into macOS port, trying to get the macOS port together, and we had some successes because Tyranno did an update on the engine, which allowed us to do it on a Mac now, so it's we're getting things done on that end. Uh, the only, This month, what literally happened was we moved into testing, so we took the next steps Got a, got a playable version up, went into testing, and the problem is we ran into some issues trying to, because we're trying to use the iOS version a little bit, we're trying to borrow some of the enhancements we did from iOS and bring them over to PC and Mac, and unfortunately some of those things didn't go well, uh, like literally the UI vanished uh, during, the, during the, uh, the testing, so we had to dial it back and we had to go back on a few things and bring it back to the way it originally was for uh, the original PC version. So moving forward, um, what this means moving is that the uh, file size uh, is not going to be as low as we wanted it for the PC and Mac version, but it is going to be lower. I, I literally our current file size is two gigabytes. It's going to be down under one gigabyte or like right around that, that gigabyte mark. So we have gotten it down. That's the good news. Um, but yeah, we're going to do a little bit more testing on it make sure we've ironed out a lot of things with the Mac OS version. Uh, will we get it out this next month going into December? Um, with all the holiday stuff happening and with everybody's going on break and things happening, I, it's it's very doubtful if we're going to make the December release on Mac OS. We might go into January, the way it's looking. Uh, we'll try. I'm going to try to see if I can get that out for the Mac OS and for the winter sale, which is on Steam, coming up real soon. So, uh, we'll see. That's the best we can do. Uh, we are a Apple uh, developer that's approved and everything, so that's not going to be an issue getting the approval on that. Um, but yeah, it's just we got to make sure we got this version right and uh, get the get the good update for the PC version as well. Uh, now moving on to art news. Um, art news. Uh, art was really busy in the month of November. Uh, Georgie was really firing away. A uh, lot of like one after another after another. He was working very fast and getting a lot done. Uh, we finished all the modeling for the characters that we need for Chapter 1 on Raven's Prayer, so that's done. Uh, we also finished, um, well, finished another big uh, background image, which is going to be, it's not the last image, but it's the one, I mean, we have like the cityscape we still have to do, and we have one more. Uh, the other one that's left that we have to do besides the cityscape is not very complex, it's more of a more of like a the best way to describe it is more like an aerial shot like you're from an airship so the, the expanse is much bigger the details are much smaller we don't really have to it's not a major major shot uh, that one is going to be probably worked on in this month while we're on holiday um, possibly get it done by January if we get that done then it's just moving on to Eddings Cove and uh, yeah, we've already built a good amount of the city. We've got a lot of ideas together. So we're going to uh, shift right onto that cityscape and see if we can hammer that out going into the next, next year. Uh, we're also, we've are also we moved on to expression work for Winx. Winx has uh, come in to start doing the expressions on a lot of the models. Um, the reason we held off on getting her in right earlier was because there's a lot of other things going on and trying to throw the expressions in there and trying to work that in and plus we didn't know if we needed to, to tweak some of the models yet um, <clears throat> when we finally got into it so yeah she's coming on board to get that done so that's another good news uh, we're, we're going pretty 
pretty well on Raven's Prayer Chapter 1. The Chapter 1 is going to be... It looks like it's going to be going into 2023 for the release on that. Uh, then we're going to go into the story building side of it before we do the release where we go into Tierno, we build the game out, build the scenes out, and a lot of that stuff. We're already partially done on that, but it's different th throwing it into engine versus <coughs> versus having to take individual scene, do the character, do the pose, do all that type of stuff. That's a lot more in depth. So that is coming uh, in 2023. Um, uh, the last thing to note on the art development is Project 2. We have gained a background artist. It is uh, actually something that I've been looking for for probably about a year now, if not more. I mean, that's one, one of the things I think I did a report earlier this year or last year. Like, yeah, we're looking for a background artist. And I went through Fiverr. I went through uh, Upwork and a few others trying to find a background artist. And literally, I could not find one that could do what we were wanting done and so many of them did they were like we don't want to do it nope nope we're not doing it we don't want to be involved in that or <laughs> i don't know they i don't think they understood what we were really wanting done partially especially because we were working on the cityscape and some of them they just don't want to do a big huge image and they don't want to think about that amount of work so uh the good news we found one it's uh his name is John, and he's from the Philippines. We actually found him through a Facebook advertisement that he put up, and we were like, okay, let's see your work, and he showed us. He's more of an anime style. Uh, there is an image on the uh, blog. of It was an image that we asked him to draw for Project 2. It's just a little sample to see how, how his coloring was, how shading was, is kind of the thought process when he went into stuff, and he did it exceptionally well. Um, actually, before the month ended in November, he did finish a background for Project 2. It's the, and it's the first background for the project that's been done. Everything else has been modeling so far, and I will show that right now. That'll be the one difference between the vlog versus the vlog, is you get to see one of the new backgrounds. So, this is the background he did for us. It's not done. This is not the final but this is just something that he whipped this up within a day or so uh, extremely fast and the level of detail exceptional I mean this this guy I mean we were just very impressed when uh, he first got involved in the project and his attitude his demeanor everything I and mean, he's he's a young artist he's definitely he's definitely trying to build his experience and get out there and yeah, he's um, <coughs> fitting in really well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, moving on, that'll be about it. On that, there's not too much else to talk about. I can't showcase some of the other images we got done because they're too tied to some story events in um, Raven's Prayer. Although, if you've paid attention to a lot of these vlogs, you know that I do tease stuff in the backgrounds and such, so... You can go back and kind of see like images that I maybe teased part of. Now you can see the, or more of it or different parts of it, things like that. It's just kind of one little like, Easter eggs that I like to do on these vlog reports. Um, we are hopeful that John's going to be able to transition also onto Dustin Air. Uh, so far after that first image, it is a good enough level that we could transition him into Dustin Air work, if only to do the line art, and then Georgie comes in and do, does the, the uh, coloring side of it. So that has been helpful. I am considering, um, because the cityscape is such a big image, and we're gonna have multiple cityscapes, it's like, we're gonna, I'm thinking about bringing him on board with that team that's working on this cityscape, so uh, getting more input, maybe having him do a uh, sample for the cityscape to kind of get more concepts out, get more ideas before uh, Khan comes in and does the whole thing. So we'll see how that is going to go this next month in December. December is just going to be a lot of like up in the air a little bit. We do have stuff we're working on, we do have stuff that's happening, but there's holidays, there's breaks, things happen, family events happen. So yeah, I'm not going to be pushing, 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 like trying to hammer something out, but we will be getting a bunch done during the month and 
Last week, we were very happy that Georgie finally got away from his laptop. I mean, he's been doing this for years on his laptop, and he finally got a tower. He finally got a full desktop. I tried to encourage him to get an ultra-wide monitor, because for a task monitor, they're beautiful. You can have so many windows open at once, but he couldn't fit it on his uh, work thing where he has it, his home in Italy. So <laughs> in the future, he'll probably get a big ultra wide but it's enough i mean he was going from a little laptop screen now he's a giant screen so yeah it's <laughs> it's <clears throat> very good news uh, we're hoping it's gonna increase his productivity going into the months and years ahead right, so anyways that is it for the month of november uh next month is the year-end report where we kind of look back on the year um a lot happened this year a lot didn't happen this year too unfortunately it's just what happens when you're in indie game dev so all right i'll see you next month jenny